video is brought to you by Squarespace. I don't think I can do it. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> What's that? I got lots of rain on it. Today we are here in Kalan Street, which is the oldest street in the Philippines. We are here to meet our local food expert, Peru, who will be taking us on the most authentic Filipino street food tour here in Cebu City. about Filipino food. So that's why we hopped onto Airbnb experiences and found Pru. She has been doing food tours for a couple years and she's also a foodie. So we're excited to see where she's going to take us today. The street that Prue is taking us down is Cologne Street. It is just lined with small shops and there's also lots of little street vendors. It's a very, very local place. Which one are we trying again? These fried pork intestine. We're trying this seaweed dish and also the beef soup. Oh, this looks so yeah. good. If it's fried or grilled, you need to have the sao sao or the dipping sauce. So the dipping sauce is always consists of calamansi. Have you seen this already? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a small lime version. You just have to press it. Oh. And then the chili. You have the vinegar. And then the soy sauce. So it's up to you if you want to like, you know, um, slice the chili oh. to make it more spicy. This one is the fried pork intestine. Yes. It's a little bit chewy. It's like chewy, but it's creamy. Is it fatty? It is fatty. It is fatty. I think that's why you gotta dip it in the sauce. I'm gonna dip this one in the sauce. Okay. Mmm. It's definitely not as greasy if you dip it in the vinegar sauce. Are you gonna have some too? No, I'm okay. I'm full already. It's okay. Are you Enjoy. sure? Yes, I am sure. Okay. I usually like pork and tessai but never had it like deep fried like this. Yeah, we never seen it deep fried. Quite delicious. Yeah, it is. What is the name of the soup again? Uh, beef soup or nilat uh, or nilat ai. Nilat ai. Yeah, nilat ai. I saw she was like bracing big pieces of beef <laughs> in the pot. And what are these leaves? Uh, it's just cabbage. Oh. So we have the cabbage, a swa a squash, we have the ginger, onions, um, garlic, and all, just simple ingredients. Oh, very beefy. Yeah, it is, right? But it's not like uh, only like the taste of the beef meat itself, but there's probably other organs in there. Mm, nice though. Perfect for like a gloomy day like this. So the seaweed, it has just been boiled for a few minutes. And then they just put uh, vinegar, tomatoes, onion, ginger. A lot of seaweed grows in the Philippines. Yes. So this is like fresh from the ocean, from the sea. It's amazing. It definitely smells like vinegar. It's more sour than I would do back then. <laughs> It gets your um, appetite going, your saliva going. <laughs> oh so this stop is a barbecue joint. I'm looking forward to this one. Wow. Here's our food. So you have the chicken liver, chorizo de sabu. Uh, you have the hot dog, and then you have the uh, chicken blood or betamax. Oh, this one delicious. So crispy on the outside, nice and mushy on the inside. You usually don't like liver. Better? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I'm going to like this one the most. I think the Cebu chorizo. Nice and juicy looking. Yeah, looks fatty, which I think is going to be very delicious. Oh, this one is yummy. But it is spicy. It's like caramelized, kind of like sweet. This one is 
Uh, chicken blood. It's our local chicken name. Blood. Yes, our Real local name. Blood. It's uh, Betamax. Bet Betamax. The Betamax. Uh, remember the old days that you have the uh, video cassette player. Yeah. So um, it's called Betamax because it's shaped like that. I don't know how to explain the taste. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> Try it. See if you can explain what it tastes like. It has a meat taste to it, but but then it's like not enough meat taste to it. <laughs> it's just the texture. Yeah, and when you look at it, it looks like clay. Delicious? <laughs> Pro just walked into a bakery. I like where she's going with this. you have different kinds of spilling. You can have the almond beans. Mm. You can also have the onions. But ah. for me, ube is my favorite. So it can be sweet or savory then. But mostly it's sweet. Mm. Does Hopia have like a Chinese influence yes. to it too? That's true. Because it's right. the name doesn't connect to anything Chinese for me, mm -hmm. but it's like we have something like, like that. this. Similar. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. This I love. <laughs> so good. I think I think we need to buy some to take home. Yeah, let's buy a few. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but look, the president was here eating ube. Over there, Mani Pacquiao. Mani Pacquiao too? Yeah, over there, over there. Oh no! What? Mani Pacquiao. Do Filipinos people like Manny Pacquiao? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes, he's like a hero to us. In Thailand, have Buakau. Here in Philippines, we have Pacquiao. Oh, so, yeah. okay. You know Buakau? Yes. Buakau is a famous uh, Thai kickboxer. Yeah. Bring this home. Okay. Oh, no way! So wow! No, no, no. Let, us have, let us pay I'll for it. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. It's free. It's free. It's free. Oh, oh, thank you so oh, much. Thank you. So much. <laughs> We share with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. 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 So shao mai is like dumplings. Is it pork dumplings? It is pork dumplings. Oh. You want to put a uh, plastic as gloves? Oh. Hi. So you want to uh, eat first? This one. Okay, oops. So this is pork dumplings with a chili sauce with calamansi and soy sauce. Oh, spicy. <laughs> Very spicy. <laughs> the sticky rice is different. They stick together, but when you bite into it, they all come apart. And the sauce like salty and sour, and very garlicky. Very nice. Oh, this is a whole thing. Oh, what? Yeah. This is like real spicy sauce. Yeah. Yeah. This is like real street food experience. Well, literally, you're on the street. <laughs> <laughs> you like eating with your hand? I do. I find the gloves are actually harder. It's probably easier to eat it with your actual hand. Because it's slippery. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm just like putting the bag with like it's all over my face when I eat it. Never yeah. tried something like this before. Mm -hmm. Is this more like a snack? Um, any time of the day. Any time? Yeah. You can have that any time. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> so what do you have here? Chicken, chicken, shomai rice, shomai. And you brought them from home? Yeah. You yeah. made it yourself? Bahau. Yes. Like a bahau rice. Oh. Our mom did. Bahau means yummy. Wow, you cleaned that up, girl. Yummy, yummy. Yummy. We have a quick announcement. We are happy to share that our brand new website is now live. Here's your first look at floraandnote.com, all beautifully designed and built on Squarespace. 
The hardest part building the website was deciding on which award-winning template to start with. But once we got that sorted, it's been so much fun customizing our website to fit our brand. Because our content is mostly in video form, we love that we could add video elements and even embed our YouTube channel directly onto our website. We put a lot of thought into how everything looks, so knowing Squarespace has a built-in responsive design means our website will look beautiful on any device. Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flora and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Now enjoy the rest of the video. So we have a little bit of a break to digest, but we're just walking to our next stop. Wonder what it is. Everyone is super friendly and very curious about where we're from and what we're doing and if we are vlogging and they want to say hi. I'm gonna say love you to everyone I see. <laughs> or if you want to say it in uh, Tagalog, you said uh, mahal kita. Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Yeah. Mahal kita. Yeah. Mahal kita. <laughs> <laughs> And we are trying the uh, famous uh, soup called larang. And right now, you are going to try the puffer fish. Puffer fish? Yes. And at the same time, the corn rice. You can find uh, this kind of soup in other restaurants, in small restaurants, but not in a big restaurant. This is what we're eating. Wow, yum. And puffer fish usually is poisonous, yeah. but the variety of puffer fish that has been here for a long time is not poisonous. And then you can actually see the shape of the puffer fish. Oh my goodness, yeah. yeah! And you said this rice is corn. Corn rice. Yes. Oh. So they grind the corn and then they cook it as a regular rice. But for the corn rice, you can just eat one and then you're already filled. Ooh. Are you gonna have a puff puffer fish with us? I'm okay. Yeah. You sure? Yes, I've eaten this a lot of times already. It's a very special dish. <laughs> Let me try this. It's very similar to Thai fish tom yum soup. Oh yeah. Very close, if not oh, identical. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. The puffer fish itself, it's quite meaty. It is meaty. And it doesn't it doesn't smell, it doesn't have the fishy taste. Mmm. Nice. Can you get me some puffer fish, please? Yes. We got Pooh helping us now. Yes. Yeah. Picking Extract out. Extract the meat. <laughs> Here, try this. Nice, right? Mmm. Nice. Nice tender piece of fish. What are you picking on there? Um, the fish eyeball. Let's see it. Oh, it's huge! Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was like, oh, I'll try the fish eyeball, but I was expecting like the small white one. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. You can see the ligaments on the back. Do you eat the eyeballs? Uh, when I was younger. Oh, so you wouldn't eat it now? Uh, yes, why why like don't that. you eat it now? I don't know. It's just <laughs> that uh, it, it's not attractive anymore. <laughs> like when you were younger, you used to play with your food. So if you want to try this puffer fish, you actually have to come here really early, especially on the weekdays. You'll have to come here before maybe 12 because they sell out quite often and this shop is very popular. It's not just for the people around here, but people like to come to this neighborhood just to try the shop and just to eat the puffer fish. Yeah. Tostobua, commonly known as Pigsbury. So it's like a communal thing. Yes, it is. So everyone gets to dip into the same pot. Did you eat? Oh. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. Should we try? You should. There's a lot of rice. <laughs> the trick is, you hold the tip of the uh, puso, the rice. Yes. And then here it's like a spoon. You dip. 
<laughs> I got lots of rain on it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I can see. That's the white stuff. Yeah. It tastes like gravy. Gravy on rice. Mm. You don't taste the brain though. So I've never tasted brain before, so I wouldn't know what it tastes like. <laughs> so does eating brain make you smarter? <laughs> made us more lazier. <laughs> lazier! <laughs> so you only pay for the rice, which is five pesos each, and you just can keep dipping as long as you want. No in, way! In the pig's brain. You can double dip, triple dip. No, I don't think it meant like that. I mean, like oh. you can keep getting more rice and you can keep dipping. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Very nice. Nice and hot. We're getting a new bag. Oh. Is it ready? Yeah, it's okay. So what do you think of the pig brain? It was surprisingly very delicious. It did not taste like pig. I guess it was probably like I thought it would taste like weird because it's pig's brain, but it just tasted like delicious gravy. Yeah, nice and salty and hot. So we're at our next stall now, which is a local sticky rice and hot chocolate place. Did you say sticky rice? Yeah, sticky they put the sticky rice in the hot chocolate and eat it together. Is this just go, go. here? Like, not many places nah. do this. Like the chocolate. Um, no, actually, this is very common. Uh, common is a buono food, especially during breakfast. Breakfast? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it is also considered a snack. Wow. Is this like chocolate rice porridge? Somewhat. Uh, it, this is called uh, lugao. So it's also sticky rice <laughs> with uh, brown sugar with coconut milk. Wow, that looks so good too, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna try this first just with um, sugar. Mm -hmm. And have some chocolate. Mm. This chocolate is really nice. Yeah. Because you know how like milk chocolate is usually very very sweet? Yes. This is not very it's sweet. Not sweet. It's like light and it's easy to drink. And then it's also dark. Yeah. Wow. So this is what the pure chocolate, the pure like cacao. Yeah. It's super dark. So, so you just you... melt this and add some water? Yeah, because uh, the one uh, he did is he will just risk it with hot water. What a perfect combination. Hello. 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 Um, yeah. Can you? Okay! How many horsepower is this? <laughs> you need to get, get my show. show. <laughs> when we look around this street, we don't see many tourists. So actually, it's the locals who are taking the horse carriage to get around because it's only 10 pesos ahead. It's a hot one today. Can we just sit, stand here and eat? <laughs> eat a cold dessert? <laughs> yeah. So we are here at this fast food chain called Mang Inasal. 
and we are here to try the Hello Hello. We have never tried it before. Don't know what it is. It has Informative. ube on it, so I'm pretty excited. Oh, it's gonna be good then. Wow. Is the Hello regular? Thank you. Since this is your first time, first time, I suggest that you try um, each ingredient first. We have the sago jelly, sweetened jackfruit, ubi jam, beans, egg custard or leche flan, sweetened uh, coconut or makapuno, plantains, and then the ubi ice cream. So what you usually do is just that uh, it, once you tried everything, then you mix uh, all the ingredients, and uh, that's how you do the halo. Because halo halo means mix mix. Mix mix, yes. This is a no brainer, you yeah, will like it. Yeah, this is going to be good. Mm. I could just eat a bowl of that ice cream. The flan. That's my favorite. Mm. You know what time it is? It's time to halo halo! I'm coming up with a new way of eating halo halo. <laughs> you are really halo halo things up right now. Okay, we're ending our day today with Masi, which is a special gift from the La Fortuna Bakery. Look at the amount of uh, yeah. snacks he gave us. He gave us so many different snacks. What's the stuffing inside? Happy nuts. Oh. Is it sweet? Not too sweet, it's just right. Just perfect. Thank you so much to Prue today for bringing us around. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you and mahao kita. Mahao kita. We hope you enjoyed this unique Filipino street food tour with us. We learned so much about local food from Peru. Thank you so much for watching and as always have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bloopers. At Filipinos love um, banana ketchup. And you have that in your purse. So you don't carry that around okay. every day. Oh, okay. Just, just for this sure. tour. Can I have some chicken? Yes. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Thank you. <laughs> so friendly, yes, right away. You didn't see me. Yeah. Maybe if I do this. <laughs> Maybe. It's like rice, like condensed together. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hello. Love you. Love you.